Hey Jason, how's it going? It's Buddy from Capstrano Volkswagen. I wanted to send you and your wife a nice little video of this certified 2019 Volkswagen e-Golf. Um, the other one I had was over there, it was a little bit less, but it is black and uh, very tough to keep clean, unfortunately. Uh, I just leased a new car, I got rid of black and got white. Uh, it does look good for one day when it's clean, but every, after that it's just very tough to keep clean. Um, as you can see with this one, you can't even see anything on it, and it's been outside as long as the black one's next to it. Uh, really nice car for Volkswagen, about 125 mile range. Uh, both of my managers have this vehicle. One of my finance guys has it. One of the salesperson has it as well. Uh, very nice car. There's no maintenance on the vehicle. Uh, and there's also, you get to pass up the gas station every day, so it's kind of a fun car that uh, the whole family gets to use uh, and save money in the downline. Uh, you're able to plug it in at home with a uh, 110 or a 220 and uh, when you're out and about uh, there's quick charges at different places like dealerships uh, where you can get about 80% and a half an hour so great car all the way around for Volkswagen um, let's take a look let me get every single inch of this car for you guys first this is my SE so it's the middle of the line this is the popular one um, there is kind of one above this with the leather, but it's usually $100 more. People are like, no, that's pass for that much more money a month. The SE does the job and gets people from point A to point B. Um, this one has a Kessie system, which is a keyless access system. Um, it has all the safety features on it as well. Um, it does have the autonomous braking up front. Someone cuts you off, your car will brake so it doesn't slam into the back of the other vehicle. Also, these lights right down here, those uh, illuminate white, uh, kind of shows and separates the regular gas golfs compared to the electric golf. Uh, really nice car, though. I mean, tons of power in the vehicle uh, compared to a gas car. And the uh, reason why people love this so much is if you look at a gas golf, uh, and this one are pretty much identically the same. A lot of people that have electric cars either mess up the trunk or mess up the second row of the seating with the battery. With Volkswagen, it's flat, so you're getting all the room that you would get in a Golf in this vehicle. Um, it does have the blind spot monitoring sensors right here on the side. Someone's in your blind spot, it will highlight and let you know. Do not get over. If you do try and get over and use your blinker, it will actually uh, flash uh, at you and be like, do not do it. Um, also has rear traffic to the car if you're backing up besides the big backup camera. If you just say we're at Target and this is the aisle and I got cars running uh, up and down the aisle, if you're backing up, you really can't see with all these cars next to you. So what the radar does in the back of the car, it's looking for uh, cars going up and down the aisle super fast without you being able to see. As soon as it uh, recognizes the vehicle, it actually gives you a little beep to let you know that there's cars behind you. If you do not stop, uh, if you do not pretty much um, stop backing up with the beep, it will actually lock your brakes down so your car can't go anywhere. So a little scary, but it's better than being rear-ended in this vehicle. Uh, it's funny selling cars. I probably sell at least three cars a month to people that have been in an accident, so it does happen. So if the car's locked, I put this key in my pocket. This is a true uh, keyless uh, car, Kessie system. So if I put my hand around the handle, it unlocks for the touch. Um, or if I repeat the process and do it again, it unlocks the side doors and the uh, opposite door on the other side so it's easier for everyone to get inside the vehicle. You get a nice cloth seat. The seat is the back of its power. Um, but really nice cloth seats, really comfortable for Volkswagen. The car has mats since it's a certified car through Volkswagen. Also with this big beautiful touchscreen radio which I'll turn on. Um, it also comes with the Apple CarPlay radio and uh, since it's certified, we also give you satellite radio three months for free, just like a brand new car. Um, the owner doesn't think if you buy new or used from us, there should be any difference. So we turn on satellite radio for you as well. All right, hopefully that focuses a little bit more. All right, so back up. Got your big backup camera right there. App button right there for the app connect. You plug in your um, Samsung or your iPhone. It mirrors your phone to the screen of the car so you can get your navigation, your ways. Um, your audio books are volumed uh, through the car. Um, your music, you can see Spotify, all the good stuff if you want to. It's, instead of playing with the phone, um, you can look at the screen that mirrors your phone, which is very nice. Media, with your Bluetooth, you have Bluetooth streaming audio. I'm able to link two phones on the screen at the same time. Instead of, hey, babe, can you turn off your Bluetooth so I can get my phone working? Now I got two screens, uh, two phones on the screen at the same time, which is very nice. Um, also, it's all done by voice command. 
dual climate control me and my wife she's always cold i'm always hot so you guys could switch the uh, temperatures on one side compared to the other um this car also does have the heated seats volkswagen does the seat heaters from the top of the seat down to the bottom of your leg so not just the butt area it's everything so if you have a bad back or anything like that it's helping everything um here's your push button start to get the car going um you do have a little mode selector here which is nice for the e-golf um, so with the mode selector, you do have a normal, you do have an eco and an eco plus with the normal, you're going to get the normal drive. Of course, with the eco plus, um, you're on your way home and you're like, eh, I wonder if I'm going to make it with the range of, um, electric that I do have. So by hitting, uh, this, when you go to eco, it's going to pull a tiny bit of the lights, pull a little bit of the AC and, uh, really try and keep the power to the car. And, uh, you also do have your braking mode where you could put it in braking mode, and if you get stuck in traffic, it's funny, when you hit the brakes, uh, the brakes recharge the vehicle. It's regenerative braking. It's really cool how that happens. You could actually get in traffic I and mean, come out of traffic with more mileage than you win in with. It's pretty crazy. Um, great sound system. It's an infotainment center. It's a nice, big, beautiful screen. I love it. Um, has all the car info as well. Um, tells you about uh, pretty much how to use it. If you're using your AC, how much it's pulling out. And I guess the last one I didn't say is if you go all the way to the Eco Eco Eco, um, it really will pull the lights from the car and the AC, but it's just trying to give you enough charge to make it all the way home. So it does have uh, backup stuff just in case if anything happens. And you also do have roadside assistance with the car, uh, flat tires, lockouts, and uh, no electricity. Um, from your dials up here, you do have your MFI, which is your multifunction indicator. Um, this is your steering wheel where you get to work everything up and down. So through the middle, you kind of get how much uh, electric I have to get home. Um, it shows me my distance, my speed, my economy, the range. Um, so it kind of gives you a little bit of everything. When you start hitting the silver sideways button, it just switches a little bit more stuff on the computer. Then you can kind of go over to the vehicle systems just to make sure everything is active on the car. And this one also does have the adaptive cruise control, which is amazing. So adaptive cruise control, I'm on the highway. I'm doing 80 miles an hour. Um, I do not have my foot on the gas or the brake and just say I come up on this Passat and the Passat's only doing 30. So with my car doing 80 miles an hour, my car will get to a certain spot, which you select on your car. Um, Cause when you set up adaptive cruise control, the first question that it asks you is, hey, how many um, car lengths do you want uh, the car in front of you? Do you want it three car lengths in front of you, four car lengths in front of you, five car lengths in front of you? This is only one, uh, but just saying, uh, if we're doing 80 miles an hour, we come up to this car doing 30, um, it will be farther away from us. But with the adaptive cruise control, it will slow me down to that car speed. So I will not hit this car in front of me. I don't have to touch the gas or the brake. The car will do everything all by itself. Um, that is a great feature that's um, in this e-golf. Um, it's in my wife's car. I actually show her how it works. I don't even grab the steering wheel because she has lane assist and adaptive cruise control. And it drives her crazy because I try and show off and show how great it is. It's mostly for just in case you're not paying attention. You look to the right or left. Someone's in front of you. Your car makes the reactions that keep you safe. Um, you do have automatic lights inside the car. You do have wallet holders inside the vehicle as well. And on the other side of your multifunction steering wheel, you do have the volume control for your music and also switching track is here as well. Telestopic steering wheel forward, backwards, up and down. Um, you do have car net above you. Um, I was telling you about our security system destroys this one. Um, this one kind of helps you find your vehicle and all that other good stuff. Uh, our car net, uh, it's all right, but it's a subscription, which no one wants to pay. So our star guards a one time pay, um, sunglass holder up top. Um, you do have a five seater in the back. It's uh, chest belts all the way across. And let me show you this. Sorry, I talk a lot. I've been here for 18 years. I love Volkswagen. So talking about something you love is pretty, pretty easy for me. In the back of this car, you do have your plug-in. All the cars come with the little plug-ins, so you can plug it in in your garage. Just kind of think of it as your cell phone. When you go to sleep, you plug in your cell phone, so when you wake up, it's charged and ready to go. Your car is gonna be the same thing. It also has a little Velcro mat back here, uh, so you could put a little net. If you have uh, like a volleyball, basketball, you can keep stuff from rolling around, and a first aid kit in the back of the car. Um, here's our storage. And there's uh, stuff for your spare tire right there where there's no spare in the car, but you kind of get stuff for your uh, uh, like goop to fill up your tire, 
and uh, you have all your stuff for the roadside assistance. So Volkswagen's kind of going away from doing spares. They're just giving you the kit so you can kind of fix your tire. If not, the roadside assistance will come and pick you up. All right, with these seats, you can just hit this button right here, drop the seat all the way down, drop that seat all the way down, and then you pretty much, um, you can put anything in the back of your car. Um, if you wanted to go to Costco, load this bad boy up and you only had two people, get rid of that second row and stack this bad boy high. Um, that's where the uh, plug-in goes, kind of like where the gas would go. Really clean car, beautiful gray. Sorry I'm talking so much. I love Volkswagen. I know everything about these cars. If you have any other questions, please give me a call. I'd love to answer anything for you. Once again, it's Buddy from Capstone Volkswagen. 760-415-6331. Take care. Have a great day.